Okay, let's talk about backstory today. Backstory is very crucial. It's a very crucial element to get across some context of your characters, which will help evolve the story and also make these uh, characters richer and um, give them more depth, which is basically what you want. Um, but again, there is some danger to that. Backstory for the sake of backstory is always to avoid. So when you think you need backstory to make your characters more rich, then you probably need to rethink that approach to some extent, at least. Because most often scripts um, do have too much backstory in them. And what happens if a script has too many backstory? The reader will get bored and you cannot have that. So what you want is you want the reader to puzzle, to piece the puzzle pieces together. And that is, that is something that you can achieve by giving the right information at the right time. But if you overdo information in any sense of the words, then you're in trouble. And backstory is one of these troubles. So if you go back and um, have, for example, incorporated a lot of flashbacks, um, it, yes, it can, it can help at certain parts uh, of your script, but it can also be very dragging. So if the if the there's one thing that you need to know about flashbacks. So if you want to incorporate flashbacks, um, you may, you have to make sure that the flashback you incorporate will change the present to a great extent. So what that means is you better you know set up your backstory and your flashback in a, in a way that the information you get throughout the flashback and yet then you cut back to the to the present that this information that you gave in the flashback will affect the present to a great extent even change it or make it more emotional or you know the knowledge you gained uh, from the fresh flashback about the character will then immediately change the context in the present that is, you know, uh, it, that's an element that you need to um, think over and over before you start on flashbacks. If you do a flashback just, you know, for the sake of the flashback, you know, that, that will not get you anywhere near emotional at all. It will just, you know, drag the story down. Um, so that, that's, the, that's the one element um, of how to incorporate backstory. Um, and it's the most prominent one and we all know that. So the next one, um, you know, the, the second element to bring across backstory is obviously dialogue. And again, dialogue, it can be quite, you know, dangerous incorporating backstory into dialogue. So dialogue then, uh, you have to really balance out what information you give. It's the same with, you know, the flashback. Um, make sure that the reader is still piecing the puzzle pieces together. That's, that's what you always should be looking for. You know, the best way a script functions is if you give you know, first of all, you give hints, you give information sparsely so that the reader has to do the math. Just give them, you know, two and two and the reader will come up with four. This is what works best. So in dialogue, it's, it's the same thing with giving backstory. You want to balance out the visual elements that you have at hand 
with you know the information you give via um, you know them speaking so the verbal um, versus the visual so to speak um, example of that would be you know you 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 won't um, you, you won't get anywhere emotional if you have you know um, a character whose whose um, wife just died and he's about to sell the house um, he or they they both have been living in and someone you know of his friends walks up to a house and asks why he's selling the house and then the man would say um, uh, you know um, the, the the house is way too big for me now that my wife died and I decided to sell the house because of that um, that's no good dialogue it will it will be just on the nose and it will be horrible to read or for actors it will be just horrible to speak um, so what you can do uh, to avoid this is you you know bring in the visual elements of, of uh, storytelling so for example if you have you know him uh, setting up a, a, a soul sign in front of the backyard uh, in front of the house in the back uh, in, in the front yard then um, you have someone walk by you know the friend walk by and uh, he, he would see the sign and um, the he would ask them why, why he's selling the house and um, um, then the man would probably say something like okay um, well the, the, the house is it just feels feels empty now and um, then the friend would probably say, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. I heard about it and I, I'm really, really sorry. And then the man would say, um, uh, um, yeah, but yeah, I know. Uh, thanks, but um, life has to go on. So this, this way, um, you're still keeping, you know, the reader in the dark uh, about really what happened, but you giving enough information to make the reader curious about what happened, about the backstory, and also you have um, you know him do the math, the reader that is. So that's another element of you know presenting backstory. Um, so we move on to the third element or the third method of how to incorporate backstory. And the third element is something that is called background information um, or at least I call it background information and that's a that's a really fun part to a fun way to incorporate backstory into your story um, the way background information works is it gives context to you know what's happening around the characters without them having to talk about it verbally um, and with and, and sort of you you, you present it um, in a way that the reader can take it for granted without you know having to explain it so for example if you have um, if there is a, a bedroom or something and you have a couple kissing in the foreground and but you can see uh, at, the, at the back, you can see through the window uh, into the backyard of the house. And so in front of, uh, of, the, of the window you have the, this couple kissing and in the background um, you can look out of the window. And in the background, while they are kissing in the foreground, there are, you know, zombies approaching. This way you have like what I call background information. And it also, you know, tells about what, you know, situation they're in, what's, what the world is like that they're living in, and all this kind of, you know, um, type of backstory that you could, you know, give any other way, but it would be, you know, probably you have to waste more time to tell what just, you know, this one image would tell. So I hope, you know, these three elements of how to present backstory um, got you going um, in your writing. Make sure um, you like and subscribe. Check out my latest videos. I will be posting new stuff every Tuesday 
and Friday. If you want to get in contact with me, write me uh, via Twitter, um, follow me on Instagram to get daily motivational tips um, and lectures on writing. I truly hope you enjoyed the video. Um, see you soon, guys.